we bring you a Follow the Boat Media Network Thai Military Coup special report from a secret location. On Tuesday, martial law was declared in Thailand. As schools and government offices close, the Thai army has taken over. General Prayuth Chanocha has announced that he has taken over rule of Thailand. In his address, he spoke of restoring order and reforms, and for making society free to love and be at peace again. Local people start preparing for any eventuality. In Satun, South Thailand, a home guard elite has been put together from some of the finest young men available. More training is required, however, as the local men confuse domestic brooms with guitars. There is a nationwide curfew from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. The army bans anyone from leaving home during this time and political gatherings of more than five people are banned. The mood is solemn. In other news... Head carpenter Pong didn't read the manual and has yet to work out how to use his wife's hairdryer. More confusion as Tui tries to vacuum the saloon floor with a sander. Shares in ATM go up. It transpires the Thai rubber glue industry is in cahoots with carpenters who are paid to use their wood glue and advertise it on any available news network. And there's a complete balls up as Ton attempts to put a horizontally striped veneer on a curved wall. It seems the carpenters really have let their eye off the ball this week. And on a final note, little mum gives birth to a litter of six. Sadly, one died at birth, but the others are all doing well. Millie isn't so impressed, but she's just going to have to get used to the three black and two ginger furry little creatures. Hello and welcome to week 16 of our refit. Uh, they're playing some loud music next door, so we thought we'd do another all-in-one take quick tour, starting in the mast tent which has uh, been hermetically sealed as I explained the other day with uh, cling film. Look at this! That is the top coat and it's a rather splendid job they've done of it. It uh, takes a few days to cure properly but it's looking beautiful so we're happy with that. Anyway, we don't have much battery left so we're going to make this one quick. Follow me. Over there you can see some more mask fittings in their own little tent. Uh, the varnishes move in between their little tent over there and the workshop here. I was hoping to show you one of the pieces of the uh, floor uh, that's obviously inside. We've decided to change the colour of the caulking and we're now switching over to uh, grey caulking so we're taking out the old caulking, this is from our cockpit uh, floorboards so Pong's taken that out and he'll be putting the new caulking back in Under the hull there they have been uh, filling in all the dents and pits and uh, what have you, ready to put the uh, final layers of uh, fibreglass down. First thing you'll notice as you come up, you can't help but notice it, is the new cockpit. And Pong has actually finished now. 
It looks fantastic. We love it. You can see around the edges here, they've started to fill in the bits that they've cut away. So these patches are where there'll be no tow rail. So there'll be tow rail there, and then the gap where the gate is, with no tow rail. And the tow rail will begin again and so on. So we're breaking the tow rail up. Cockpit box is coming on nicely. They've now epoxied it in place. Um, we're starting to make some measurements for the various holes that we've got to drill in it. Uh, and as you can see, it's now all waterproof. So that's where the electronics will go into, so the electronics will be all waterproof. Uh, there's not really much to show you down here. But what we do have are freshly painted uh, bilges and our uh, new uh, the fuel tanks which have all been painted up now. So we've just got to reseal these fittings here. I was hoping to show you some um, floorboards but uh, they I don't know where they've put them. They're probably back down in the uh, tent. One of the problems we've had is this and trying to get a veneer on that follows the curvature here and it's proven to be a bit problematic so we had to have a big discussion about that today and we've decided we're going to break it up into sections and uh, with the divides made up of little teak strips. It's the only thing we can do really. I think that's about it. Not much more to show you. I suppose we could go, and go back downstairs and we'll have a quick look, see if we can find a floorboard to show you. Okay, let's just have a quick look in here. I wanted to show you their sliding door. This is fantastic, look. It's obviously locked. <laughs> I can see some floorboards. Pass me the camera and I'll uh, let's see if we can see the floorboards. There's a sneak peek. You can't, still can't really see them. I think we're going to have to save this for next week's episode. But those are really what makes the boat for me inside. They are absolutely beautiful. And with that satin polyurethane finish, they just look fantastic. That's it for week 16. Next week, we'll take a good look at those floorboards, provided the military doesn't decide to close down the Follow the Boat Media Centre. And now, a word from our sponsor. Man, are you in a rut? Want to get out of it? Join the Navy. Hey, young fella, Navy has news for you. If training or travel or pay you want, get into the Navy Blue. Navy trains you, gives you a job that's great. You're sure to go higher, and when you retire, you'll only be 38.